Every man fights for freedom. Stay off the path of my freedom. Stay away from me. Allow me to enjoy my freedom. Every other man out there, they have their freedom. Their wives never meddled into the affairs of their freedom. But you, you've refused to let me be. If you want to enjoy peace in this marriage, Stay away from my path. Maintain your lane and leave my lane. That is the only way you can have peace in this marriage. I will not warn you again. last this is how men chose to play with their lives in marriage where is my husband where is he where? stop it that's good that's good 
<laughs> no woman. I love it. Very, very no woman can take this kind of thing yes. from her husband. Seeing another woman on my own matrimonial bed with my husband. It hurts so much. It feels like a pain in the chest. I have chosen to hurt me so much. Why have you insisted on hurting me so much? What have I ever done to you? That's good. That's good. My only crime was to love you <laughs> and be your wife. Very, very My only crime yes. was to be an obedient and a humble <laughs> wife. What did I ever do to you? I'm seated here while I hear another woman's voice with my husband. He's driving me insane. God, why me? If it is my sin, I'm sorry. Have mercy on me. The pain is too much. It's too Stop much it. for me. My husband is hurting me. That's good. That's good. What did I ever do? What did I ever do to you? I love it. Very, very interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. husband and another woman inside this room on our matrimonial bed while I was outside crying God forbid I reject it ha, God forbid what we do is this what this man is planning so the ones he has been doing outside is not enough anymore he wants to not carry them inside. Ah, God forbid, Father, you will not allow this to happen. You will not allow it to happen. Why does it derive joy in hurting me so much? Yeah. After all the bleeding, after all the fighting, he's not tired. What kind of marriage is this? I need to talk to him. I need to. My husband, please. Don't bring her home. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Don't. Yeah? Since you've decided that this is the kind of life you want to live, hmm? you decided that it is best for you to shut my mouth up in this marriage. No problem. But please, live your life outside. Don't bring it home. Pico, I beg you. I saw it in the dream, and my dream always come to pass. Please, if not for any other thing, for God, respect our matrimonial home. Respect our matrimonial bed. Don't bring her home, please. You can live your life, do whatever you want to do outside. 
I'm, I'm not going to say anything again, but please, don't bring her home. I beg you in the name of God. Please, if you want me to need her, I will need her. I'm begging you with everything you hold dear. Please, don't bring her home. Oh, because I beg you. Jesus, this truth will not come to pass. However, it will not stand, it will not come to pass. You said that whatever you hear me say, that you shall do. Now listen to me. I don't want to see you in my house again. Do not come again. I said do not come to my house again. Do I owe you an explanation? That's what I said, yes. Don't come again. Yes. If I wanted to come, I would tell you. I wanted you to come before. Now I don't want you to come again. Ah. Yes. Get out. Get out. Hey. I have told you you will not touch me. Why? That is all I know. You will not touch me. This is our honeymoon. <laughs> Wedding was yesterday. So why am I not going to touch you? Wedding was yesterday. Uh -huh. And today, our fasting just began. Fasting? Yes. We just entered 120 days fasting and prayer. And there is nothing that we would do or that can be done till after the fasting. We are starting the honeymoon with the Lord. Mm. We are starting it with Him for 120 days. Mm. Then we can now go for our own personal honeymoon. That is what it is. Honeymoon with the Lord. Yes. So we are doing thirty Lord. days. Yes. What if I poisoned that food? What? Yes. Poison my food? Why? What if I poisoned it? What do you mean? What if you poison? Why would you poison my food? Just give me one reason, one good reason, why I should not. <sighs> Just give me one reason, why I should not. The only thing I gained from marrying you is the roof over my head. Just this house. Nothing else. You don't take care of me. You don't marry me as a husband should marry a wife. The Bible said you should love me while I submit. But no, you don't love me. You don't do your own part. Yet you expect me to do mine at all times. I submit to your lies. I submit to your hatred. I submit to your beatings. I submit to, to emotion, emotional blackmail. I submit to everything. But yet, your own path is so difficult for you to keep. Chief, Omeka Ago. That's what your friend calls you. You go around town, dating one girl from one girl to another, jumping from one skirt to another. Languishing money, showing money, spraying money, organizing parties, birthday parties, event parties for your baby mamas, for your side chicks. But come on to feed me. You cannot. Clothe me. You cannot. Yet you move around, Odogu. What have I gained from you? Nothing. You treat me like a trash in my own husband's house. You bring women home. You make me do the house chores for them as a maid in my own home. You beat me at any slightest mistake. Anything I do is bad. There is nothing I do in this house that is good. Anything I do in this house 
the reward is beaten. You beat me in the morning, you beat me in the afternoon, you beat me in the night. At any given time, except you are not around. You, if, you even beat me in advance. But I don't have any, anything to say to you. Continue. I don't know if this is the reason why you came to my father's house to pay my bride price. The whole love you professed, the whole promises you made, this is it. This is what you are giving me back. Right? They will provoke you outside. You will come back to the house to beat me for something I know nothing about. Continue. Just continue. Akwakamanezi. That is what you are. You are better off outside. You know how to impregnate women outside. But have you touched me? Do you? I don't know if you married me to, to just punish me. Is that what you did? You tell me. If you are tired of this marriage, you tell me. Because this is an act of wickedness. You cut me off from my family. You cut me off from my friends. You don't want me to do any business. You don't want me to work. You don't want me to earn my, mo my own money. And you don't give me money. Is that a wickedness? Continue. I will not say you should stop. I've begged and begged and begged. Begged. I've pleaded and pleaded and pleaded. I've cried and cried and cried. But I will not anymore. All you want to see me is crying, weeping, and depressed. That is what gives you joy. You think you are wise, but you don't know that you are a fool. You do all those things. Come back to this house to eat a little. I could run around to prepare. Knowing fully well that your life is in my pants. I can squeeze it. I can break it. I can end it at any time. Yes, I can. But I chose not to. And I will not. Because I will not pay evil for evil. You are evil. You are wicked. If nobody has told you that, I am telling you that. You are evil. Put yourself in my shoes. If I was the one doing it, what would you do? But I will leave it to your conscience. And I will leave it to karma. Because it will surely catch up with you. It will. Thank God you are not even close to me. It's even better. But if you carry HIV outside, you carry it to yourself. You. You. I don't poison your food. I don't have anything to gain from it. I don't have anything to gain. And I will not. So eat your food. The party starts in the next 30 minutes. She started it. She started all this. A day after our wedding, the whole problem started. What do you mean? I said you will not touch me. What do you mean I will not touch you? Why am I not going to touch you? Tell me. I have told you you will not touch me. Why? That is all I know. You will not touch me. This is our honeymoon. <laughs> Wedding was yesterday. So why am I not going to touch you? Wedding was yesterday. Uh -huh. And today, our fasting just began. Fasting? Yes. We just entered 120 days fasting and prayer. And there is nothing that we would do or that can be done till after the fasting. It will, it will. 120 days. I am going to wait. My head on, wedding was yesterday. Honeymoon should start. And you want me to stay 120 days because you're fast, fasting? Yes. Eh? So, so in that your church, you don't know about honeymoon. They don't teach you people about honeymoon, right? We are starting the honeymoon with the Lord. Uh, we are starting it with him for 120 days. Then we can now go for our own personal honeymoon. That is what it is. Honeymoon with the Lord. Yes. For so 120 days. Yes. 
only only 120 days. You have 365 days in a year. And we are just going to be with the Lord for 120 days. So what is your problem? My most 365 yeah. out of 120, what is remaining? See, S -s listen, listen, listen. You know the kind of life I live before we met. And you are the one who has been controlling me, putting me in check and everything. And I followed you, I blatantly followed you because I love you. Now and after the wedding, let me do what I'm supposed to do. You are not telling me 120 days. I will not take it all. I told you about this fasting before we got married, didn't I? I told you. Did you, so, tell, me, did you tell me we won't do honeymoon after the, 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 the in the course of the fasting? Why didn't you wait after the uh, the fasting that we can now do the wedding? Why did you put the wedding a day before the fasting? So you are going to wait though. All these things you are saying is not my business. You are going to wait. You have to have self control. Eh? You come down. What is all this? You have me for the rest of your life. So what is your problem? Why are you rushing it? Listen, I know I'm saying this. I cannot take it. You can take it. I cannot take it. You can take it. I cannot take it. Husband, you can take it. <laughs> you cannot take it. You cannot take it. Somebody will not have self control. You cannot control your body. She started all this. And right now, I am committed. I become committed with so many women. Committed with so many women. 